Hey, it's Tim from Happy Mag. I'm here at Noise Machines, and we're gonna show you the brand new Benson Sound Labs 1632 Summoning Mixer. Have you used the recording console to mix before? If you have, you probably love it. But we're also living in the year 2023, when mix recalls and mix feedback are a real thing. The next best thing to a console is a summing mixer. That's a piece of outboard gear where you send your individual stems or groups to mix down to a stereo track. The Benson Sound Lab 1632 Summing Mixer has the sound of the world-renowned Harrison 32 series console, which changed the game for recording and mixing. Albums by Sade, ACDC, Michael Jackson, Queen, Paul Simon, and more modern artists like Casey Musgraves have used Harrison consoles for their recordings and mixes. With the advent of In The Box and fewer consoles being used for recording and mixing, Benson Sound Labs have taken it upon themselves to keep that Harrison sound alive in this world. They're a fairly new company, they've only got one other product, that's the Lineage Super 8. It's an eight channel microphone preamp and summing mixer with the option of choosing sounds from four different eras of Harrison consoles. In this 1632 summing mixer, each of the 16 channels has a high and low pass EQ with sweepable filter knobs and a special bump button that creates a resonant boost just above the high pass frequency. As well as that, each channel has a nice big VU meter to monitor the inputs, plus a left and right bus assign buttons. Along with its 16 inputs, it's got 16 outputs, a main mix out, and a headphone input. That's it, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna run a track from one of our recent Live From Happy sessions, Moju, Change Has To Come, and then we'll talk you through the unit. On the front, you have your 16 channels. Eight on the top row, nine to 16 on the bottom row that are all clearly labeled. Each channel has a high pass filter, a bump, a low pass filter, and a left and right bus assign button to the right of the VU meter. On the right side of the unit, you have your mix level and a headphone input with a level knob. This is a super handy feature that you do not see on many summing mixes. Without the filters in, each channel has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Using the sweepable knob, you can select a high pass frequency from 25 hertz to 3.15 kilohertz. And using the low pass frequency knob, you can sweep from 180 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Here's a little example of these in action on a drum group. The high and low pass filters have a slope of 12 dB per octave. Without being too nerdy, I found that the bump adds about five or six dB of gain, enough to feel it and hear it. On the back, there's input and output for the 16 channels via two D sub 25 pin connectors, eight on each. And there's a left and right mix output via XLR. There's also a stereo link via quarter inch that allows for cascading and expansion. And finally, your IEC power and power switch right above it. And there you have it, the Benson Sound Labs 1632 Summoning Mixer. Working in the box has so many advantages. However, I often hear about engineers talking about the tangibility of using a console. With the Benson Sound Labs 1632 Summoning Mixer, you can have the best of both worlds. 
Not to mention the fact that you can get creative with the EQ and the bump rather than just sum your mix out and hope that some sort of magic is happening. I'm a big fan of the controls on each channel and I am actually quite happy about how much they've packed it all in. Sure, everything could have had a little bit more room, but the fact that the inputs have a dedicated VU meter, that's pretty cool. Another great use for this summary mixer is that it could live in your synth collection as the ultimate solution for that part of your studio. Not only will it not compromise the sound, it will enhance it. Given Benson Sound Labs only has these two products heavily imparting that Harrison sound, we're very eager to see what they come up with next. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, please like and subscribe so you can see more gear that we find exciting.